Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Cosmina and in today's video we're gonna play with a palette and try to create something simple, springy, although a little bit neutral, something like that. And today I decided to play with Nudes of New York from Maybelline New York. This is a really pretty uh, combination color. I love it. I bought it a few months back, but I never played with it on camera. I played with it without being on camera and I really, really loved it. But I'm trying to push myself a little bit today and just try to come up with something really pretty and gorgeous. I'm not sure what. <laughs> But I want something like muted or something like that. So let me tell you a little bit of this palette. So on their website, it is um, up for sale for $13.99 on Maybelline's website. Nudes of New York is Maybelline's first custom designed eyeshadow palette made to flatter all complexions and skin tones, featuring a 16 new looks. A creamy formula for texture and color that doesn't look chalky or dull and benefits it says this news of new york eyeshadow palette is our first universal palette featuring curated shades that flatter all skin tones as well as every complexion creamy formula for textures and color that doesn't look chalky or dull featuring 16 neutral eyeshadow uh, shades in all of your favorite finishes from matte eyeshadows to shimmer and it is true i totally believe this one it's universally uh suitable for every skin tone um you can definitely find something to play with this and create something really beautiful no matter what skin tone you have so also i wanted to kind of tell you a little bit about the names the names are really interesting i see uh, originator, dreamer, soloist, and then I see heroine, which is like, what? One has to do with the other, don't know. But artist, pioneer, self-starter, inspirer, fighter, believer, voyager, explorer, founder, protector, creator, artist. So, I mean, there's some really interesting and beautiful names over there, and all of a sudden it's heroine, which is something like that. Heroine? 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 Can somebody explain that to me? No. Let's see. What are we gonna use? I am thinking I'm gonna go with heroine all over my lid. I'm going to pack a little bit in my inner corners and my crease as well. We are going to go with Glob Potter. So we can give it that really beautiful, smoky, effortlessly look. These colors are so beautiful and they blend in so, so effortlessly and so pretty. Love it. All right, now let's see. Let's see. Mm, I want to use protector. I haven't used this shade yet, so I kind of want to use that one. So I'm gonna try to get it a little bit and just kind of pack it. 
right over here on top of this one but kind of like leaving it a little bit of the darker shade over there for contrasting So like I said, I'm not a makeup artist. I wanted to be, I wanted to be. Um, but then when I was thinking about that, it was like, well, do I go to makeup school, like a makeup artist, or do I go to become an esthetician? Because at the time, although you, <laughs> you may think my skin, uh, looks great now trust me it was really horrible a few years back uh so at the time i was going through it a lot and i was like really annoyed with my skin i was trying a lot of things and nothing was working so i was like okay i'm just gonna go for the esthetician part because i need to figure it out how to make my skin look good because i haven't suffered for acne during my teenage years so i haven't had acne ever until i got to like 20 something years old and it was really frustrating because i was like i don't understand now when i actually do care for my skin when i take time to wash it when i take time to use proper things i get acne it's it was weird so that was happening i decided to go for the esthetician area because i was it's like you know you get a little bit of a training on um how to be a makeup artist too it's not quite to that degree it's like really low key trust me really low key um but it was like i i just i kind of want to see how am i supposed to work on this skin and make sure it's not looking like shit anymore then i want to get my drink because oh my god i could i was barely able to pull words out <laughs> hmm dehydrated let's see what else can we do next over here mm, let's go with artist which is this one right here and put it in our inner corner now let's see what we're gonna do for my eyelid um i am thinking we're gonna go with believer right here and just back that right here in the center of my eyelid Let me apply with my finger. Excuse my nails, they are pretty much horrible looking right now because, you know, everything is closed. I had to cut them off because they were growing way too much and I could not control them anymore. So I had to cut them down yes yes i know i can take something to remove them blah 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 we'll do that one that later oh yeah i'm digging this look it's such a pretty i mean it's not a very hard look to do but it's a very very pretty neutral look I'm gonna go with the glove trotter again and just kind of try to make sure that things look good. And we're the same height on both eyes. And the line is not too sharp. Like that. Now, um, 
for the eyeliner, so I'm gonna do an eyeliner too. I am gonna do, I'm thinking of either self starter or do Voyager. Combine the two and then I'm just gonna blend it. So I'm gonna go with Better Than Sex Mascara. And to make my look even more dramatic, I am gonna try again to put a pair of lashes on and this is Morphe in premium lashes in posh right here and for glue I'm gonna use eye glue from KISS Makes my eyes look look even bigger. Um, so this one is in place better than this one. This one, I don't know what happened. All right, so they are on, but I feel so weird. Oh my god, it feels so weird on my eyes. <clears throat> I don't know how people wear these things on their eyes all day because it feels so uncomfortable right now for me but i'm gonna try them i'm gonna try to wear them i'm gonna put my contacts in and see can i see afterwards or not Okay, so they don't bother my contacts, which is good, but it does bother my eyes a little bit. I just feel so weird. I feel so heavy. <laughs> it feels so heavy. Oh my god, this is crazy. This is crazy. But I do like how they look on me. It's definitely different, for sure. It's totally a different look. But, yeah. 
for my lips, I'm going to do a combo between Dora Cosmetics and I believe this one is in Share. Yes. Lip liner. And then for my lipstick, I'm going to go in with Anastasia Beverly Hills. And this one is in Ashton. Alright, so that is the look for today. What do you guys think? How does my eyelashes look like? Oh no, oh no. I don't know if I want to do this all the time, but that's how it looks like. What do you guys think? Do you like it? Do you want to do this look too? What do you think about this palette? I absolutely love it. I love those colors. They look so beautiful with each other. They blend really well. It's a really nice palette for a really, really reasonable price and nowadays uh we definitely need to find some uh, makeup that is more reasonable i mean i'm telling you i'm not doing too great right now with uh, financially and everything else but that's a different conversation uh that is all for today Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here. Don't forget to subscribe. We're very close to uh, our 100 uh, subscriber goal. And I will see you next time with another video. Bye.